Hey, welcome back to another episode of my Rogue Tech campaign. So we've moved planets from Lothian Prime to Polinus, and we have repaired all our stuff, and our mech pilots are back, with the exception of Jasper, who, uh, in the last episode of uh, Pyrotech, um, he took some damage from a pirate attack uh, in low orbit. So um, he was defending our ship, and, you know... The pirates managed to uh, hit him before we were able to get the leopard going. But uh, lo and behold, that the base from which the pirates launched an attack from is here on Polinus. And we've been tipped off. Animal was able to uh, find out a little bit of information while on the surface. And we found out where this base is. So we're going to hit these guys and we're going to hit them hard. Now, these guys are tough and they're entrenched. So this is going to be a tough fight. It's about a four and a half skull mission. So we've got three mediums and our warhammer here. So we're going to have to be very, very selective on what we're pulling our, um, pulling out and fighting. So let's get this battle done. I'm hoping also too we can get some, if we're looting this base at the end, that we're going to be picking up some um, uh, good uh, ship components for our Argo. If these guys have some aerospace stuff, we can use some of those components. So in the interim. As we were coming to Polynes, we were able to bring our mech warriors up in level a little bit. So now, um, uh, Flatliner has got um, Warlord ability, and Vanskater has also got the Warlord ability, and we will be using that quite a bit here. That extra 10% damage is going to come in handy against these guys. I'm s I'm assuming um, from four and a half skulls, definitely going to be heavy max probably an assault mech and maybe reinforcements so we need to be very very careful like I said focus fire kill targets uh, if we get lucky we might be able to move in close enough where we can spot them and and um, there won't be any uh, mechs but it looks like there is there's a vehicle up here a 95 ton vehicle and two assault turrets okay so Flatliner's got the dead fire ammo in now, which is great. Actually, we're going to reserve here just to see what they do. Roger that. Standing by. So we've got some nice heavy punch firepower. And with the um, Warlord ability, catching a mech out in the open after it's fired is going to do 8 points of damage per missile. Good to go. Now it's not going to be quite as long range as the regular LRMs, but uh, with... Um, 30 missiles being fired off, that's, uh, you know, 240 damage if they all hit, so definitely worth it. The big advantage is a 100-ton vehicle. Okay, I'm kind of glad they're vehicles and not mechs. I know vehicles can generally do a lot of damage, but uh, we want to make sure that... Um, let's see if we can get a good shot in this vehicle and take it out early. Um, vehicles are generally easier to kill than mechs. So this guy's a puma. Look at all this stuff on this thing. So we're just going to open up on it, just with fire everything. I got you. Okay, so 8 damage per missile, not bad. Another vehicle. Which leads me to believe that maybe... Um, there might be a, another lance coming after this. But we'll find out, maybe not. Maybe we get lucky and it's just all assault vehicles. So a lot of f damage on the front here. Got a couple PPCs to follow up. So once again, uh, the Warhammer, lots of pinpoint damage. So we're going to fire everything. Here it comes, baby. Nice. So he didn't get a chance to shoot. One down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, so we've got to play it smart now. Uh, we're going to reserve. So they got a heavy. That's this mech here. 70 tonner. Not moving very far. We're going to reserve again. I want those vehicles to move in a little closer. I want to get them away from the turrets. I don't want to be in range of the turrets unless I can avoid that. Um, unless I absolutely have to be. So we're going to move height over. Um, I he might be able to get shot at by a turret, but with all this evasion, I think he's probably going to be okay. So we got a demolisher too. 
two AC-20 Ultras, nice chunky armor on him, so we're going to just fire everything. Not that worried. Um, he's already moved, and we have all our guys to fire yet, so... Once again, targeting the Wolverine. They can barely see him, so, you know, minor damage. Okay, so let's go with Ground yep. Zero next. Gonna move up. On my way. Nice big heavy pinpoint damage, firing everything on the Demolisher. All weapons are go. Okay, that's it for him. Now I'm firing all the LRMs off the um, the uh, Warhammer because I'm not that worried about using them up because he's got those two big PPCs, but Flatliner, I don't want to be using those LRMs unless I absolutely have to. We've got just a little over 11 turns of fire, and I want to make sure that they're not going to be spent before we need to fight any big guys. So I can get into a point where I can see these guys here, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to stay hidden back here as best I can. Right? We don't want to get people targeting us from a distance. So TBM launcher, probably a TBM-20, most likely from the back turret. Receiving you. So van skater, we're going to move up, give, them, give uh, height some fire support. So that turret's having a very hard time hitting the Wolverine. We just need to move in enough now to see that turret. That's our next goal. We're going to reserve. I want to see what this mech is doing first. If we can pull him out and attack him. So he's got an ultra something or other. That was 20 damage. I don't know if that was from the ultra autocannon. You need me to hold still for you? Yeah, I think he does, height. Alright, let's get to a point where we don't have to worry about the turret, which I think is going to be down in here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Yeah, we should be fine in here. We're going to open up. Oh, cataract. Two AC-5s. Interesting. So let's fire on him. Now, we might be able to pick up some cataract parts here. Alright, so let's start with... Let's walk it over. Let's get some pinpoint damage on this guy. Try and get him a little bit unstable here. So he's going to be unstable. Oh, goodbye. Alright, didn't think that was going to happen, but we'll take it. Alright, and we're just going to reserve our turnout. There's no point in moving forward. The right They've got five assault units. I've been sensor locked. That's fine, they can't really see us. I'm going to sit tight and cool off here. Thunderbolt missile launcher from the back turret. Interested to find out what this vehicle is here. Yikes. That's from the sensor lock. Okay, so we gotta take that turret. What are your orders, Height, Skipper? let's start with you. Um, we can get in and see two turrets here. Do I want to do that? That's the question, right? And the vehicle from there. Um... Yeah, let's go this route. That's a big ass turret. Sniper turret, Gauss rifle, ultra. Okay, what's this guy? Heavy laser turret. Not so bad. So let's take this turret here. And we're going to overheat a little bit, but we're going to lose one medium laser. Should take care of the problem. Miss with the tag, really? The one thing that everyone can use and you just decide you're going to miss with it. Okay. Alright, we're going to move up here. And with the big heavy Gauss, we're going to fire at the second turret. Maybe we can claim both of these guys this turn. 115 damage, that's nice. Okay. We're going to wait and we're going to reserve Flatliner for now. It's really... it's The idea is just to conserve the ammo on him. Um, I don't think I can get... Oh, I can. It's one or the other, though. I can't target both of those guys with direct fire, unfortunately. 
But I'm thinking the far one over there is probably the oh, one that needs the most damage. So let's do that. Gonna target him. I'm just gonna leave the LRMs off this time. Don't really need to worry about it. Okay, it's enough for that. And then we're gonna move Flatliner over. The Trebuchet's got large damage potential at close range. Uh, so I don't really want to um, jeopardize him too much. 30, that's not gonna be enough. So we're gonna need to fire one of the LRMs as well. Let's make sure we kill this turret. Okay, that turret's gone. Two turrets left, one vehicle. There's one left in Oyentorus. Thank you. Okay, 95 ton vehicle moving back. Another Puma. As long as he's sensor locking, he's not firing, so. And you can fire at height all you want. Good luck with that. Another sniper turret, looks like. Try aiming next time. See, See what, what you, you get. get. Okay, let's go and reserve. And we're gonna move a vein skater, I think, first. Gonna move up over here. Firm. And we're gonna target the vehicle and fire everything. Let's see how you like this. So it's gonna require a little more work, I think. That's fine. Commander. I think Flatliner should be able to handle that. Should be able to finish this guy up now. Um, I'm gonna unload the LRMs and everything. So there's that heavy LRM damage. I mean, look at that. Bye bye. We should be able to get that up higher too somehow. Waiting for orders. If we can find LRM twenties with Let's um, move. if we can find LRM twenties with um, plus two damage on them, we can do a lot with those. So that's a, that's two hundred. So let's just fire, let's just use the PPCs on this building, we'll take it down. Target confirmed. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Enemy structure gone. Structure down. It's history. Confirmed. Alright, height. We're gonna get you moving. I'm gonna sprint you down over here. Let's get away from and being oh. spotted. Uh we might as well fire on this guy. Lots of missiles left, so let's just fire the missiles. Actually, you know what? Let's just fire the lasers. Let's do this instead. Wow. Sure. Here comes that thunderbolt. Still yet to claim a victim. Mm, you can see that guy, can you? Okay. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay. All right, height. You need eyes on both these turrets. Can we do that? We can. So let's do that. Eyes on both the turrets. Additional pirate forces, as I was afraid. So where are they coming from, though? I don't see anybody. Possibly over here. But we're, oh, here they are. Right back here in the corner. All right, we gotta take these guys out fast. So, this is a heavy sniper turret, TBM-20. Heavy sniper turret, we're gonna fire on this guy, we're gonna use everything. Let's try and kill him. Excellent. So that guy's gone. Target destroyed. And let's move a vein skater up. Can we see that turret? We can. You got it. Run, don't shoot. Run and shoot, buddy. Run and shoot. Firing everything on this guy. Aye, aye. Not quite enough, but good damage. Stand Flatliner. Back. So I have no idea what this lance is coming up. Um, I want to be very, very conservative, I think, with my uh, missiles here, because we're probably going to need them on the lance coming up, so we're going to fire this off. That should do it. Nice. So now we can uh, let Ground Zero take care of some, uh, oh, 60 tonner, 75 tonner. Ground Zero can take care of some of these buildings here. Actually, we're going to move this way. We're going to need to re regroup, bring Height back. I think maybe I'll put that uh, Exchanger in Height's, uh, Height's mech here. So this has got 125 left. 
So I don't think these clan... Oh, they will. So let's multi-target. Let's go after this guy and uh, this guy. These two to B. Let's fire. Aye, aye. So good damage with those. And that might be enough to finish it up. Yep. Not quite enough to take that building down. Oh, it was. Two buildings gone. So next turn... 775 tonner. And what was that? An 80? Couldn't have been an 80. Another 60 probably? Two... Three 75ers? Let's okay. So I think it's three 75s and a 60. 65, 75, 75, 60. Okay. So height. Uh, let's sprint it over here. Let's regroup. Gonna end our turn there. And Bane Skater. Let's move down here. On my way. And then we're gonna fire on uh, this building with everything but the Goss. Roger. And Flatliner. Ready. You can sprint down in here as well. Once again, we're going to fire on that building with everything but the missiles. Target confirmed. All right, so now we've finished our mission. Coming in, hot. coming in hot. All right, whereabouts is our evac point? Down over here. Okay, so we're going to start fading back that way. Um, I want to get it to a point where um, we can pull out if we have to. So I can't see anybody from here, so I am going to move forward where I can actually see the 60-tonner. I don't think it's a uh, quick draw. A dragon. Okay, it's a pirate dragon. So let's just fire on it with the... everything but the LRMs. Mm, nine turns of LRMs left. Let's fire everything. Copy that. PPC is missed, though. Head hit, please? Please? No? Okay. Here they come. I think what I'm going to do is next turn, I'm going to reserve my turn with my You've mediums. Lock on me. I might move with one medium. Maybe we'll move with height first. I still see Flatliner. Alright, let's um, just move... We're going to walk up with height first, get our stability back, and we're going to fire on this guy. Uh, we're not going to use the ATMs. We've got, well, we've got, what, 24, mm, five or so turns left. Let's leave those off. Let's just fire the medium lasers for now on the tag. No tag, but we did get one medium laser hit. That's fine. Okay, so um, let's reserve back. I want to trade off turns with these guys. What's the dragon? Okay, shooting move. Alright. So, that's fine. You didn't move very far, so let's punish you for that. Um, I guess we're going up here. Let's do that. Just trying to get out of range, trying to hide from us. That's fine. You want to do that? We're just going to punish you. Oh, really? Come on, man. PPCs have got a hit. Another head hit. Nice. Okay, so we're going to unload on this guy with Flatliner in a minute. I want to make him unsteady first. Oh, a Marauder. Ouch. That's a heavy goss. I can't take much more of this. No, we can't. Um, that's a heavy goss rifle. And two heavy PPCs. Ready for orders. Do we want to close with them? No, we don't. Um, bad chances to hit. Good chances to hit. So let's take on the dragon. Rolling. Loading up the LRMs. We're going to go after the dragon. Come on, man. Hit him hard. Okay, he's unsteady now. Which means Bane Skater and that heavy uh, I've been Goss rifle. Need Take something. advantage of that. We're going to keep moving towards our escape point. 
Get some stability back. Once again, firing on the dragon. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Okay, the heavy goss hits. Excellent. Still, oh, there's the knockdown. Okay, good. Let's knock him back a turn. Don't know what that guy is. Probably another Orion. So we need to pull out. Not much armor left in that location. No, there isn't. Okay, so, uh, first things first. We gotta try and kill this dragon. So, Bye. let's get, um, hmm, that Goss, though, from the, uh, here we go, from the, uh, Marauder is very, very dangerous. So let's make sure we try and kill this guy flat out here. Torso destroyed. It's another pilot injury down to 104. That one's gonna leave a mark. Okay, so height, I'm gonna sprint, get as much evasion as we can, do this, gonna fire at the guy's head. This, once this dragon goes, um, we'll be much better off here. Hoping for a head hit. Nope. Okay, flatliner. Going to here. Got it, Commander. And everything on the dragon again. Uh, gonna try for the head, but probably get the CT. Yeah, there he goes. That's fine. All right, saving both of our uh, um, ERPPCs for that uh, Warhammer or the Marauder. I mean, yeah, he's deciding to fire everything now. Okay, I gotta walk. Oh, he's a shooting mover, are you? Okay, let's walk down here. Roger that. Get some stability back. We're going to do vigilance. Confirm. And we're going to fire on this guy. Just going to open fire. Any head hits? Come on. No, not quite. So let's see what these two guys do. 65 tonner is... Who Got knows? Lock on me. Stalker. What is this guy? SRMs and LRMs. Don't know if we have any stalker parts or not. So we all go before these guys. So he's a full out stalker. LRM 10, two SRMs. Oh, that's a pretty good loadout. Okay, so we all go first. So let's move. Um, you are definitely going to have to move as far as you can move. Um, trying to stay out of SRM range, maybe trying to stay in forest if we can. Oh god, it's so hard to decide. Let's move back. I know it's probably a mistake to just move, but we're just going to do that. Everything's going to go after the uh, Marauder. Definitely need that Marauder gone. We can stay away from the Stalker. What's up, boss? Um, let's sprint you into the trees here. And we're going to open up on the Marauder as well. Uh, Goss Rifle, we're going to leave it on because, you know, Locking we got lots over. of ammo. Okay, one hit. That's acceptable. He's pretty uh, evasive over there too, right? So, so height. Let's sprint this up to... It's a little close, but we're going to do this. Maybe we can draw some heat. Wolverine's got some pretty good armor. So we're going to fire... Ooh, ATMs. Starting to run low. we got four turns. So let's... Yeah, we got to pepper this guy with damage. I was hoping for more hits than that. Okay, now I can sprint. And sprint I shall. What's the chance to hit here? 35. 51. So let's move here. Got it. And we're going to open up on this guy. Going to do an offensive push. Going to try for a headshot. And fire everything. 
That looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. Wonder where that hit. That was a torso hit. Dang. Got a lock on me. Okay, as long as that guy's just sensor locking, I'm more comfortable. I know these guys get more hits, but let's see how it goes here. Damn it! There goes the leg. I've lost ability. That really hurts. It sure does. Okay, he's coming out of the forest. Okay, flatliner. We gotta stay in cover. We can't retreat, so we gotta stay in cover our main guy here. So let's fire everything on him. Looking for stability damage now. He's standing in the open, so he should get full damage. Head hit, pilot hit, nice. Okay, vein skater. Let's bring it up over here. Once again on the Marauder. Gonna try for just firing, I think. Hopefully we hit. Nope. Shooting at the wrong guy. Okay, height. I'm gonna get you in here. To this. Nah, let's not make it so that guy can see us. Let's get in here. Turn our side to the stalker. Affirmative, Commander. And then we're going to fire on, do an offensive push on the Marauder because we need to push him back a turn. Uh, we're going to fire everything on him. I don't want him shooting at my main mech again. Okay, he's tagged now. That's good. Another head hit. Excellent. So here comes the Stalker. Is it going to be a melee attack? I think it is. It's a miss. Okay, good. So then the... The guy back here, Thunderbolt 1C. What does he got? Yeah, he's moving forward. Ugh. Taking punishment here. I see that. Just relax. We're on our way out of here. So he's like almost full armor. Oh, he does have full armor. What does he got here? Primitive armor, so I guess he gets a reduction in armor. Okay. You. Stand up. Move as far as we can. Gonna fire on that marauder. Regain footing. Good to go. Yeah, just barely good to go. Uh, we're just gonna walk over here. Look at that leg. <laughs> mech is limping. You think? Okay, so marauder. Just fire. Just do it, man. Great chances to hit. We're just going to shoot at him. Okay, get a head hit here. Come on, head hit. There we go. Goodbye. Screw you, buddy. Okay, our turn. So, I think we can take these guys. So, I'm going to move Flatliner here. And we're going to unload on the side of the Stalker. Firing everything. How you like me now? Alright, height. Ready to rock. Uh, we're going to wait for you. Van go. Skater. We're going to walk you to a point where we can see the side torso of that. Or the side of that uh, Stalker. And we're going to unload on his side. He can't uh, evade. So he's falling. Solid connection on that one. So that Marauder kill really saved our bacon. Okay, so I'm going to move height back. Uh, we're going to stay in the forest. Move back to here. We're still really good chances to hit. Going to fire on this guy. Going to try for a headshot. Unload everything here. Left arm is gone. Pilot head hit, nice, two of four. Critical hit. 
So Thunderbolt's probably going to fire at the Warhammer. Nope. Okay, good. He took the bait. Okay, Warhammer. We're going to move you back. Oh, that's going to be a missile strike. We need to see. Here we go. Can't turn the left side, though. Yeesh. What if we don't move at all? Let's do this. So we're going to target this guy. Going to go for the head. Why not? And we're going to fire everything. Firing. Pilot lethal damage. Bomb. Done. Goodbye. Target eliminated. Now, in order to ensure I'm here. Um, that we kill this guy before On my way. he does anything, we're going to do a offensive push and we're going to try for let's go for legs on this guy okay I think, things are going I think they are too let's get height second um, we're going to move up let's stay in the forest though firing the same amount of weapons we did last time Gonna go and just fire normally, I think. We'll leave a medium laser off, fire everything else. Okay, so he's unstable. Okay, so Van Skater, let's get you up here in the woods. And we are just going to fire at him straight out. Seven left there, 75. Let's just fire straight out. Better chances to hit. Left arm gone. So he's going down. Target's taking a critical hit. So chances of him hitting anybody next turn is pretty low. Once again, Good to go. ground zero. Going to fire again. And Wanted. perhaps try to exact a little bit more revenge. we got one LRM missile left. I don't know how that actually worked out. Oh, we got... How do we get only one left? How does that even work? Going for the headshot. Firing full complement on that. Left torso destroyed. Critical hit, Commander. So he's gonna stand up and most likely miss people. How do I end up with one missile left? That's the thing I don't understand. Maybe the launcher misfired one or something? I have no idea. Okay, Height, you can go first. You Come got the speed, so let's move over here. Gonna fire what we can. So let's just shoot these guys into his side. Okay, he's panicking. So now we're gonna try a precision strike. Here. He's got seven left, so let's just fire what does he got left in the center? Lots. So we're going to fire the three lasers. Primitive. There we go. That'll be it for him. He'll fall and then that'll be over. Take that. Here it comes, Bubba. And thank you for the salvage. Mission. So overall, that was a relatively successful mission. I'm thinking probably the damage is going to be at least a couple hundred thousand. Um, but it's nice that we got all of our um, extra bonuses in here, so we get some extra cash here. So we lost um, the leg here with LRM ammo again, so at least it wasn't too bad of a deal. Did, we could have lost the PPC here if we lost our arm, but we were, we were okay in that. Um, and I don't think anybody else took any significant damage at all. So overall, a really successful mission. And lots of Marauder parts. Lots of Starker parts. We've got some Marauder parts already. Um, what else do we have down here? Thunderbolt parts. So we've got lots. AC-20 Ultras we could choose. Once again, we can only choose um, components from the bottom here. So large laser, not really worth it anymore. Uh, small pulse laser is not worth it. One ton. Nope. Medium laser plus, plus, plus five damage. Uh, it's a possibility, maybe. Stability damage. What's this guy? 
Accuracy damage evasion, that's a possibility. ER PPCs, but they're regular ones. SRM2, lots of streaks. Arm weapon, definitely have to take that. Pharaoh, we've got normal Pharaoh still. Um, breaching shot plus one accuracy, that's a possibility. I think we still got, I think we are, I think our cockpits are fine. XL gyro. That's a possibility. This is a possibility. Heat sinking pods. Those are always nice. Composite structure. I don't really want to lose the uh, structure points though. Any specialty ammo here that we could use? Doesn't look that way. Okay. So, um, cooling pods. These are really good. I mean, they replace heat sinks, right? So, let's lose the fusion core. Let's lose the LRM-20. And let's lose the fusion core. We'll keep the gyro. I'm thinking that we'll probably get some use out of that. And then we'll take the two um, cooling pods. And we, we were able to buy one a little while ago um, off camera. So, we've got a few of those now. Maybe we can drop these into the Wolverine in replace of regular heat sinks for height rather than putting the exchanger in. So let's do that. Let's confirm this. So cataract part, uh, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, will probably give us a cataract now, which would be nice. Uh, Marauder part, stalker part, two Thunderbolt parts. Um, what else do we get here? ERPPC, which is okay. And some ammo. Yeah, I think we made out pretty well on this one. Let's see if we get that cataract. Yeah, so 204,000. So pretty much whatever we made going out the window. And that's okay. Because we were able to uh, avenge um, um, Jasper, who uh, was, you know, hit by the, pilots, by the uh, um, pirates. So, ground looks like ground zeroes are for 30 days, unfortunately. But, um, we did manage to pick up a bunch of stuff. Now, I'm surprised we didn't get a cataract. I'm just going to quickly go to uh, engineering here and go to, uh, uh, sorry, mech bays and bays going to go to... I still laugh at this. That's ridiculous. Um, storage. Can you go to Heavy Max? I think we should be really darn close. So there's a cataract part there. One. Or cataract part. I call them cataracts. It's easier, easier to say. Um, so there's one. And I know we've got six of another kind. Yeah, there's six down. Okay, so we don't have... Interesting. I thought we had an extra one here somewhere, but we don't. We do have it. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, some of these, this is a basilisk, so that's only seven. That's 65, so that would be eight, nine. Why don't we have... A catapult yet? Hmm. Well, I guess some of them have to. Uh, we have to find exactly the right parts for them. Okay. Well, we're getting closer to a lot of max. That's for sure. All right. Let's go real quick before we do anything else. Um, actually, we have to get these max back before we can do anything. So let's just quickly uh, move forward and get our Wolverine back here. Darius calls from the planet's surface, where he's been directing a resupply trip. Commander, while loading the shuttle, I found that several suspicious heavy cases of machine tools also contain secret compartments of, with AC-5 ammunition. There are probably some very unhappy smugglers somewhere in the city. What do you want to do? I think we're going to return the uh, ammo to the vendors. Later in the day, Darius arrives at the Argo. While his crew begins unloading all of the supplies, he takes you aside. Commander, the vendor who sold us the machine tools was, well, relieved is an understatement. He describes how she offered him a thousand in, in um, sea bills and a sweaty hand for his honesty, and now she's buried her face in her hands when, she, when he departed. So, I've got a thousand, that's fine. Helping out some fellow smugglers. So let's go to um, our bays real quick. Let's have a look at this Wolverine and this weird... <laughs> he, 
Sure, why not? Uh, let's go to the Wolverine. Let's go to refit. Definitely need some heat sinking in this guy for sure. Okay, so let's see what we got. We do have a heating pot or, or heating heat sink po cooling pot already in here. So let's go to equipment and shoulder matter weapon. We got one in here for this guy. Um, this is the regular Wolverine, right? Let's go to our weapons real quick. I think we've got. Yeah, we've got two plus accuracy medium lasers. Let's drop those in. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And this is a small laser. It's a shorter range, though. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to equipment. And we are going to go to. Let's just go to heat sinking and cooling pods should be down here. Here we go. There's three of them. So let's pull out uh, one, two, three heat sinks. We do already have a smaller exchanger in there, but I'm thinking that four of these guys, or three of these guys, is absolutely better than having um, the exchanger in there for three. Because the exchanger will give us minus nine heat per turn and 20% less heat, whereas this gives us an immediate 12 less heat per turn and minus 9% heat. So I'm thinking, because we're not generating that much heat all the overall. So what is, what's our heat sinking at now? Yeah, so we're, we got really good heat sinking now. I think we'll be just fine here. And that way we can save that for later, for someone else that's got more space. So heat bank, this is only one ton though. Minus five heat per turn. Heat yeah, I think he's fine. Wish we had more missile hard points in the store. There's an ATM six that we could buy, but it's not really worth it. So let's we're gonna sell this fusion core. We got some stuff we can sell, I think. Um, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll do it probably between episodes just to get us a bit of cash. Um, light engine we'll keep. Clan XL we'll keep, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I think actually let's cancel this. We want to confirm down here first. There we go. Alright, so that's the end of the Rogue Tech episode for today. Um, I don't think we're going to run a Pirate Lance episode because Jasper is out for 15 and Ground Zero is out to the end of the next financial report. So what we might do is jump out of this system and head to somewhere in um, the Marian Hegemony. But we'll do that on the, uh, between episodes and when we come back next episode of Rogue Tech, all these guys will be back in and we'll be ready to go again. Now we do have enough for the next financial report, just barely, but we do have some stuff I can sell it between episodes. Uh, also our Argo upgrade for the drive upgrade will be done and we can start getting some cash to finish off the uh, Argo. So until that time, if you like the video, please feel free to, free to uh, drop a like and if you have, this is your first episode, uh, please feel, feel, to, feel free to subscribe. I'm also looking for comments too on what people are interested in seeing. Um, so please feel free to just, you know, drop any kind of comment down um, and suggestions for, you know, uh, stuff for the series or a potential next series. I'm planning on doing probably in the next couple of weeks or so doing a regular battle tech series. Once I get this one finished and we get the Argo up and running, uh, I'll probably move over and do another battle tech series and up until the point where um, the new update comes out. Uh, and then I will continue the series after the update comes out and play a few rounds of those before moving back to another Rogue Tech campaign. So yeah, um, until the next time, I'll see you later.